to normal and there's no getting away from it and a lot of it I think has to do with the music and how the music fits the story but the music itself it's like a great pop album that you can't get enough of. The central character, Bobby's character in Next to Normal, uh, suffers from mental illness. Next to Normal is not about mental illness. I don't want people to think it's like a documentary about mental illness. It really is not. It's about mental illness is a springboard that starts the story in motion. It really is about loss. It's about grieving, but it's about families and what binds families together and how families work through issues. It is about the effect of, of the illness on the family and how the family reacts to the illness. And with humor, with love, with anger, I mean it goes all over the map. And um, and it could be a metaphor the, for any illness, for, for alcoholism, for, for grief, for anything, any dysfunction in the family and how the family deals with it. It's, so it really is just this, it's the story of a family and how families deal with with certain things in life. I think the challenge of playing the role of Diana is letting go of some of the very common stereotypes that we have for people who struggle with mental illness. And I know my major goal whenever I started kind of approaching this role was I don't want Diana to come off as someone who is that stereotype. I wanted her to be the kind of woman that you would pass in the grocery store and say, wow, she's a very well put together looking woman. That they would have absolutely positively no idea what was really simmering below the surface of her and I think that's what makes her character so interesting. And within the show there really isn't that much sort of manic behavior. Um, her mental illness is really lying below the surface and I, and I think that, that was my challenge, just making sure that that manicness was not always there. <laughs>